Hello and welcome to this module on enumeration. Let's see what we'll be covering in this video. We'll start with what is enumeration? How do we do it? What are the goals? And finally we'll finish up with what tools do we use. Let's get started. Okay. Well, enumeration is the third phase of a penetration test. If you recall the phases of penetration testing, you'll see that we are still in this block over here in scanning. We did reconnaissance during the footprinting phase. And now we're scanning and enumeration are still part of this overall larger scanning phase. So at this point, we are still gathering information. We are not moving to gaining access yet, we are still gaining information about the target environment. The ultimate purpose of enumeration is to gain even more information about the target system, things such as routing tables, user groups, etc, etc. So if you recall, footprinting was about getting information, scanning was getting more information, and enumeration is literally rounding up all of that information. So, enumeration is active because it does involve some scanning, but this phase is about finalizing the big picture. So everything you do in enumeration will be touching the target environment, so stealth is of importance. So how do we do this? Well, let's take a little step back and look at the overall aim of what we're trying to achieve. We have a target. About that target, we'd like to know a few things, and enumeration is there to literally finalize the big picture of all the information we can gather about a target. We'd like to know things such as names, server names, user names, network names, service names, etc., etc. We'd like to know what services are running in the environment. Are they running Microsoft Exchange for mail? Are they running Oracle? Are they running SAP? Are they running Microsoft System Center. All those sort of things are what we need to try and find out. We'd like to have a network map, uh, a network showing all the IP addresses, how the, all the subnetting works if possible, as well as the local area and wide area networks. We'd like to have a list of users and groups if possible. This makes the gaining access phase a lot easier because if you have a username, you're halfway through to getting access because all you then really need is the password. We'd like to have any routing information because that helps us build up the network map. We'd also like to have a list of operating systems. Are they running Windows? Are they running Linux? Are they running Mac? Um, because each of those comes with their own sets of challenges as well as vulnerabilities. We'd also like to probably start looking at default passwords and that's something that we'll look at in the demo of this module. And then finally, we'd like a list of applications. And that is part of the banner grabbing phase that we did in scanning. But there are a few tools in enumeration that help us flesh out that information a little bit more. Let's take a look at how we start getting this information. Well, it's all about scanning and getting protocols. So let's see what protocols will give us the sort of information we're looking for. We obviously look at NTP, Network Time Protocol. LDAP, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, Active Directory for the Microsoft world, SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, NetBIOS, which is very, very useful in the Microsoft world, SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol, will give you a wealth of information if they have not secured their public and private keys and left them at the default settings. And then finally, our old friend DNS, which always helps us get more information about what is actually running on the target environment. So now that we know which protocols um, we'll be focusing on to get more information, let's look at the ports that we need to scan for. We want 53, DNS. 135 in the Microsoft world, client server communication protocol. 137, which is the NetBIOS browsing request port. 
139 and 445, which are the common internet file system or SIFs, also in the Microsoft world. 161 and 162, SNMP and SNMP trap specifically. So if you find these ports open, you know that you have found an SNMP device that you could possibly query. 3368, which is the global catalog in Microsoft Active Directory. And then finally, 389 and 636. 389 being LDAP and 636 being LDAP over SSL. So what are the goals of enumeration? Well, the goals of enumeration are exactly the same as the goals of footprinting and scanning. It is the final phase in information gathering. So we need to finalize the detail about the big picture. This is the phase where you're literally wrapping up all the documentation, all the information you can possibly have about the target so that we are ready to start the gaining access phase. It also helps you finalize the path you will take to execute the attack in the later phase, obviously because you have a lot more information. So now you can start formulating a plan in your mind as to where you're going to attack, where are the weakest points in this environment that you have now gathered information for. What information do we ideally need at the end of this phase? So as with footprinting and with scanning, it's the same. It is a list of devices, their roles and configurations, a network map, a list of applications with version numbers if possible, and a list of people that work for or at the target. Remember, as with the other phases, any information about the target, no matter how insignificant it may seem, could be vital down the line. So document everything. Let's take a look at the tools we'll be using during this phase. First one, <clears throat> we're going to take a look at default password lists. Um, there are many, many instances where sysadmins have not changed the default password on routers, switches, even servers and server applications. And this has led to a vulnerability and obviously a breach post that. So we're going to look at where to find these default password lists. We're going to look at SMB client and try and establish a null session, which is a very useful enumeration tactic. And then finally, we're going to look at uh, NetDiscover with a Mac off to do some op flooding to understand where exactly each application is and basically build an op table for enumeration purposes. All right, that pretty much ends this video. I'll see you in the demo shortly.